Hello everybody, how you feeling? It's Pastor Dre, and I just want to show you some steps that you could take on how to optimize your blog for search engines. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. If you have any questions, you can send me an email, pastordre at pastordre.com. That's pastordre at pastordre.com. All right, I'm going to show you how I optimize my blogs for search engines. Uh, here's a blog. Well, let me go to my blog page. And like I said, if you have any questions, even after the live feed, you could go ahead and type it in the comment section. I would love to reply and help you out. All right, so here is a blog that I just wrote or that I just uploaded on WordPress themes for church websites. And there's 12 places that are 11 things, I should say. There's 11 things that I like to do to my blogs so they can rank higher in the search engines. So I'm going to show you those 11 things that I do. And then uh, we'll get ready to wrap it up. But I do want to show you how I start off with my blog optimization. So what I do is I go ahead and do what's called keyword research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log into my, let me see here. Let me see if I can get that for you. One second. Okay. Boom here. Okay. So now here is my keyword research tool or the place where I get my keyword research tool. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my keyword research tool. So what I usually do is I try to find a keyword that I could optimize my blog for. Now, as I showed you earlier, the keyword I'm trying to optimize this blog for is WordPress themes for church websites. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Let me see here. Let me show you my tool here. Okay, here we go. So we're going to type in WordPress themes for church websites. Okay. And let's see what kind of results we get. So I can see here that this keyword is searched 48 times a month. And if you reach page one of Google, you'll get nine clicks. So let's go ahead and find out uh, the SEO scores of 97. So what I do is, okay, first thing I say, I'm going to get a keyword here. And then I want to optimize my blog for that keyword. This is a pretty good keyword. The score is a 97. The highest you can get is 100. So let's go ahead and go back to the blog. Okay. So now the first place I like to put the keyword that I'm targeting, WordPress themes for church website, is in my blog title. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this blog, go behind the scenes. And you can see here that I put that keyword, WordPress themes for church websites, in my blog title. The second place I like to put that keyword is in my meta title. So if I scroll down here, you can see that I have the keyword in my meta title. Meta title, and it says WordPress themes for church websites. The third place that I like to put my keyword is in my meta description. Searching the internet for WordPress themes for church websites. Okay, now the fourth place. Let me see. WordPress themes for church websites. Choosing generate press. Okay, the fourth place I like to put it is right here in the first sentence of my content. Are you searching the internet for WordPress themes for church websites? So that's the fourth place. The fifth place that I like to put my uh, keyword is in my social meta title. So if you click social here, you'll see I put the same title that I had for my meta title. I put it in my social meta title right here for Facebook and I put it for Twitter. All right. Sixth place is the social meta description. So I put the keyword in here and I put the keyword in here, searching for the internet, searching the internet for WordPress things for church websites. So we put it in six places. Let's review. Number one, blog title. Number two, meta title. Number three, 
meta description. Number four, first sentence of content. Number five, social meta title. And number six, social meta description. Another place I like to put the keyword is in the image alt text. So if I go ahead and click replace and open my media library, and here's my image here. So I like to put it in my alt text, WordPress themes for church websites, and also in my alt title, WordPress themes for church websites. So that's places seven and eight. And the last three things that I like to do when optimizing my blog is I like to put one external link to a high authority source. So here is an external link. I pretty much use Wikipedia. So if I click this, it'll take me to an article on Wikipedia. And number 11, I like to put an internal link. So this is another blog that I wrote on this topic of websites. So I went ahead and linked to my other blog. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this up so you can see it. So if I go to this link here, if I click it, it's going to take me to Wikipedia. Okay, or I'm sorry, another blog. So this one I linked to another blog on my website. Now if I go back, Okay, and I click maybe uh, websites, it's probably going to take me to Wikipedia. There you go. All right, so that's step number 11. And then the last thing you could do, which is optional, step number 12, is you could put an embedded video in your content about the subject that you're writing about. All right, I hope this has helped you out. If you have any questions, send me an email, pastordre at pastordre.com. That's pastordre at pastordre.com. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.